All right, on to part three of my record collection series. Um, now, since I'm into the Beatles, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on them because, as I mentioned in the last video, it's kind of like everyone knows the Beatles. Everyone knows their music. I mean, I don't really feel like there's a whole lot I can say about their albums. Uh, I'll just... I guess I'll just show you each of them and then I'll just move on to the next. So I have Rubber Soul. Uh, I will say for a while that was my favorite uh, Beatles album. I have Sgt. Peppers. You gotta have Sgt. Peppers. One of the most essential. Uh, I will show the gatefold to this one because I really like the gatefold on this record. Uh, now, these are all reissues. So I'm not a good record collector, I guess you could say, but, but whatever. Got Magical Mystery Tour, which comes with this uh, a really nice 24-page uh, like book. Uh, then I got, yeah, thought I had it backwards for a second for some reason. Got the White Album, which I never have hung the posters up or the poster or the pictures up or anything like that. They're still in there. And then I have Abbey Road. Uh, I guess I will say I think Abbey Road was my first Beatles. Record, maybe, well, no, I think, actually, Rubber Soul, I think, was my first Beatles record. But, yeah, that's about all I'm going to say about the Beatles, because they're, everyone knows them. Everyone knows about all their music, so I'm not going to spend too much time on that. All right, next, this one, take the sleeve off. It's an album called uh, Belladonna by the group Belladonna. This one I got from... Uh, a subscription service called uh, oh shoot I forget what it's called now oh that really pisses me off <laughs> it, it, it's not Vinyl Monkey but it's one of those to be totally honest with you they had a thing where you could get a free month I signed up for a free month and then I cancelled the subscription because I, truthfully I didn't want to pay the like 20 or 25 bucks a month for these like records that I didn't even know the artists, um, which it's like that might be like, wow, you're not a real record collector because you don't want to, uh, you know, find new music through re records. But it's like it's not about that. It's just I don't have the money to spend twenty five bucks on a subscription service to it. It's got a nice lyric sheet. I can't really say too much about it because I've only listened to it one to two times since I've got it. Um, I probably would have listened to it more if I've if I've been home more, but I go to college, so I'm normally away, you know. Put that back over there. All right, next, the Black Keys with a uh, Rubber Factory. Me. Now this is easily my favorite Black Keys record. I'm not a huge Black Keys fan, but out of all the records I've heard. Which I haven't heard all of their albums, but out of all the ones I've heard, this is like a clear favorite for me. Uh, the the come up is uh, pretty good, and like Brothers, I like Brothers a lot, but this is just a great kind of you know bluesy uh, rock record. Um, let me. All right, next one is the newest album from Boney Vare, uh, 22 a million. This one I actually got kind of off a of whim. Uh, I just figured it, you know, it got a lot of good reviews and everyone seemed to like it. And I heard the first single, I don't even know if there's more than one, the single, uh, 33 God. I heard that single. I liked it. I was like, I'm kind of shocked. I like this. So I think I might just go ahead and get it just because, and hope that I like it. Turns out I do. And I'll show you the gatefold. If I can open it. It's got all these really cool symbols that you really don't know what the heck's going on, but you're like, I'm, I'm just going to accept it because it's the music's good, you know? And it's got... me. It's got this really cool booklet that I like a lot. Looks kind of like that. And then you open it, it's got all the... It's, Get to a good page. I'll just show this one. It's got like the lyrics. 
but they're kind of laid out in like truthfully weird ways. It's not just like these are the lyrics. It's like one word's over here, the other one's like way over here, and then there's word. You know, it's like they're all kinds of uh, mixed up. But it's a really cool book that you know really adds to the the value of the package. And the whole the whole package is like really thick, like the sleeve and the record and everything, which is really nice. Uh, these next two, <coughs> excuse <laughs> excuse me. Uh, the next two I got from a thrift store for like fifty cents to a dollar each. I'd never heard the band at the time, and I just decided to get them. Those would be <laughs> the best of Bread, a band called Bread. And then Guitar Man by Bread, which I hope you can see that. Okay, it looks not so good in the camera, but hopefully it looks better when it, once it's uploaded and everything. Yeah, can't really say much about these. Listen to them like once and then never never bother it again. All right, what's... Oh, next is one of my favorite albums of 2016. It's another rap album, another rap record. Atrocity Exhibition. By Danny freaking Bur this album oh stop that this album is amazing from start to finish it's extremely good sort of experimental um, experimental hip-hop and I will say the packaging the title is actually on the sleeve and then it has these two let me these two like inner sleeves kind of this one has the cover and then it says like downward spiral and a kind of disoriented like drugged out way basically and then the other one I'm truthfully not really sure what the picture is and then on the back is the uh, track listing just let me try to make that at least decent but I love everything about about this album uh, it's also got a little download card, which I've already used, so I can show that on the camera, it doesn't matter. It's got this little art booklet. It's got, looks like that on the front, got that on the back. It's kind of a, a glossy finish. And then it's just got some, all kinds of crazy, you know, random pictures in here. They're all like, they all have this disoriented effect on them, which is really cool considering, you know, a lot of the music is that way. It's really, it's just like insane music that, you know, you don't really understand, but it's just so freaking good. And this pressing is actually on pink vinyl, which it looks kind of red in the camera. God damn, my voice cracked again. <laughs> it looks kind of red in the camera, but it's... Definitely pink. Uh, yeah, this is from front front to back. This album is absolutely amazing, and I'm really becoming a fan of Danny Brown. Before this, I wasn't really a fan of his, and then I heard uh, the single "Really Do" with Absol, Kendrick, um, and uh, Earl Sweatshirt. And all of a sudden, I was like, I have to hear this album. And then I heard it, and then it was one of my favorite albums of that year, of last year, and it's... I haven't been able to get enough of it. All right, next up... This was a gift from my sister. I actually have the card in there. It was for my birthday. Uh, it was Let's Dance by David Bowie. Uh, which, I mean... The song, the let, song Let's Dance is amazing that's another one that gets stuck in my head like crazy uh, other than that I mean I don't feel like I can really say much about it I, I haven't put a lot of time into this record uh, to be totally honest it's just not one of my favorite Bowie albums but it is the only Bowie album I own at least on vinyl I have a couple on CD but we're not going to talk about those in this series I will do a CD uh, collection series at some point Next up is Roy Buchanan's self-titled Roy Buchanan. Uh, again, I haven't listened to this a whole lot. 
It's really good blues, uh, blues rock. He's he's a really good guitar player. I will say that Ruby Cannon. He's a really underrated guitar player. Like you don't ever really hear about him that often, at least. Um, it's got songs like "Sweet Dreams," uh, "I'm a Lonesome, Lonesome Fugitive," uh, "John's Blues," "The Messiah Will Come Again." That's a really good song. But yeah, I mean, I can't really say anything, t say too much about it. There's nothing like special about the record or anything like that. Uh, other than it's old, <laughs> but other than, other than that, yeah. Moving on, is this the Birds? Younger than yesterday, probably my favorite Birds album. Uh, it's got "So You Want to Be a Rock and Roll Star," uh, "Have You Seen Her Face," um, "Thoughts and Words," "Time Between," and then a cover of Bob Dylan's "My Back Pages." This is just a great kind of. Uh, it's it's. It's a fairly psychedelic record. I'm not going to say it's like completely psychedelic, but it is kind of, it's a little bit out there, I would say. Um, but yeah, probably my favorite, favorite birds next to maybe, well, really, I, actually, yeah, I would say this is my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next up is the car self-titled the cars. This album, I had of course heard maybe three of the three of the songs off of it when I got it, but I didn't realize how good this was gonna be until I really I listened to the whole thing and I was like, this is fan like this is amazing, front to back. Uh, it's kind of some you know some new age, uh, some rock from the eighties or the no not the eighties, the late seventies, and it's got uh, good times roll, my best friend's girl, which is one of their biggest songs and one of their best songs and I just realized that I hadn't set the timer so it's already over 12 minutes but I'm just going to talk about this one and then get to the next one uh, yeah it's got also Movie and Stereo which is really good great album everyone should go check this out I'm sure you already have if you're if you collect records you probably heard this All right anyways guys since I've already gone over because I was dumb and forgot to set the timer uh, thanks for watching part, this is three, right? Yes, part three. And I'm going to talk to you guys later. I'll get on to part four uh, right away. That was lame.